I'm super excited for today's video. We're going on a pizza tour of Orlando, Florida, hitting up about a dozen spots that are on the most recommended list. Orlando is a unique beast. There's a wide range of pizza selections, all the way from Detroit style to New York to Chicago. Let's find the best pizza Orlando has to offer. We're all ready to head to our first spot. Let's eat. All right, we made it to our first spot here. Sodo Square Pizza is Detroit style pizza in Orlando. I've never had Detroit style pizza. I know it has a characteristic where the cheese is all the way up to the edge and it's nice and crispy. So I'm excited to try this out. First on the list. All right, we're starting off with the small enforcer. Detroit red sauce, smoked bacon, pinch sausage, Ezo cup pepperoni, fresh basil, and pecorino romano. All right, let's try this out here. Tiene mucho queso. A lot of cheese. See how good this is. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. It has like a Pizza Hut vibe to it, but definitely a lot fresher. Tastes a lot better. It looks better too. Next up, the small Detroit Rob City. Detroit red sauce. Brick cheese blend. Whipped ricotta. Pinch sausage. Ezo cup pepperoni. Mike's hot honey. And fresh basil. This has uh, ricotta cheese on top. It's really good. Okay. Mm. Si. Okay. Mm. 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 Sausage is a little bit sweet. I mm. thought it was going to be like um, spicy. La dulce. Iba a ser picante. I don't know if they're making their own sausage here or what. Pero se siente como que la salsa tiene um, dulce. Great texture, very crunchy, but the sauce is sweet and the sausage is too which is a bit odd to eat a sweet pizza. We're gonna give it a six out of 10. Let's head to the next spot. I wanna talk to you about two other spots down here that I've tried. One of them is right behind me, Giordano's. The other one is Uno's. Giordano's, it was a good deep dish slice, but I didn't like the crust too much. I would rate it like a seven out of 10. Uh, I'm not sure if they just had a bad day, but it was like very tough and chewy almost. So if you've had Giordano's before, you had a different experience, Leave a comment down below and I'll come back and try it again. Uno's. I had Uno's before. I would give them like a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's maybe slightly better than like Domino's and Pizza Hut. And the only reason they get an extra 0.5 is because I like the crust better. It was nice and doughy, bready. It was. It reminded me of like a, a New York Sicilian, but a bad one. All right, let's head out to Rosati's. All right, let me head inside and get our pizza. Let's see how good it is. Is it better than Giordano's and Uno's? This might be the ultimate deep dish in Orlando. We ordered the 10 inch Chicago style. Chicago's famous deep dish, buttery crust, filled with mounds of mozzarella cheese and topped with Rosati's Chicago style tomato sauce. All right, let's see how it is. Estás lista para probarla? Sí. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Me gusta la salsa. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Rica. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, the sauce is awesome. It tastes like the tomato sauce that I make, the fresh tomato sauce that I make. Rico. It's really good. It's not like the other deep dish that I have that has sort of like two layers of dough or crust. Mm -hmm. This is a single layer. This is really nice, actually. Let me try the crust. Probemos de atrás, a ver. Como es. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Mm, me encanta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it too. Mm. Wow. Well, this is probably the first like we're about to finish. <laughs> so Ingrid gives it a nine. I'm gonna give it an eight point six. Only because I've had some great pizzas in my lifetime that are in the nines and maybe even a ten for me. And I can't put this on top of those yet. <laughs> Let's talk about Orlando's pizza pop-ups. First up black magic pizza great neapolitan pizza that you can find at various events throughout orlando dave portnoy from one bite pizza actually visited them and gave him a 7.1 score and i have to agree with that score next up the pizza slut just about one of the only spots where you can add black truffles to your pizza she told us that the crust is made from sourdough and the starter is seven years old definitely a unique experience 8.5 out of 10. 
Antica Pizzeria, one of my personal go-to spots. They have a wood-fired oven and use ingredients imported from Italy. Their lasagna with fresh homemade pasta and the bechamel sauce is easily a 9.5 out of 10. And the pizza, 9 out of 10. All right, let's head to our next spot. Very iconic, very magical. Let's, let's go. go. Epcot, the foodie theme park. We're visiting during the 50th anniversary celebration. Minnie is definitely out and about. No sign of Mickey. He might have overslept today. Via Napoli, tucked away in the Italy pavilion. Behind all of the beautiful architecture, statues, and even gondolas. Inside, you will find beautiful decor, massive wood fire ovens. The chefs use ingredients imported from Italy and they definitely work fast here. All right, so we ordered the San Pellegrino Italian sparkling drink, limonata. This is Italian soda. I guess it's not as sweet though. Let's see how good it is. Oh, that's nice. It kind of tastes like a sparkling lemonade. I love it. I love this actually. That's really good. Orange, aranciata. San Pellegrino Italian sparkling soda. See how good this is. Oh, it's a little bit tangier than the other one. I think I prefer the, what was that, limonata? Limonata, I don't know how to pronounce it. The lemon one, that one tastes better. All right, we have here the Negroni, Monkey 47 Gin, Campari, and Sweet Vermouth. I've never had this before, Negroni, but this is apparently Anthony Bourdain's favorite drink. See how good it is. I do like a nice gin martini though. And that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a martini that's strong. A little bit sweeter though. But pretty much a martini. Okay, we have here the calamari fritti. Fried calamari rings. And it comes with a spicy tomato sauce. Let's see how it tastes by itself first. Mmm, very tender. Wow. I like this calamari. Very lightly breaded too. All right, let's try that spicy tomato sauce. It's dripping. Mm -hmm. That's even better. Almost tastes like a um, seafood pasta. Not too spicy though. A little bit spicy. Has a little kick. I love it. It's good. Definitely a good choice we made here. All right, so we ordered a large pizza. Half margarita. It's got tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil. This is the largest 20 inches. It serves two to three people, but I think it could serve more. And the other half is picante. It has tomato sauce, mozzarella, and Italian spicy sausage, but we also added pepperoni. I can't wait to try this out. It looks very crispy, very thin, just the way I love it. All right, guys, let's try out the margarita slice. Kind of holds up. You know, you always gotta fold it. You always gotta fold it. There's no other way to have this. It's got the basil on there. Let's see how good it is. I love the fresh mozzarella on there. The basil. I don't know if they put it in first or afterwards. Let me take a look. I think afterwards. I think the pizza kind of heats it up. But I love it. It has great flavor. It's... Let me see the crust. Great flavor. This is a good Neapolitan slice right here. Pretty surprised. All right, I love the cheese there. Very charred, very savory. And unanimously, we gave it a nine out of 10. I think it's a very solid, very great Neapolitan slice. I got a sausage rob from me. <laughs> I almost got my pepperoni rob. This is the picante slice. Holds up also, a little bit floppy in the tip, but that happens with a lot of pizzas. Maybe a little bit more charred. She was telling me that this is how they make the pizza in Southern Italy. In Northern Italy, it's a little bit more crispy. Let's see how good it is. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I really love this one. Este me gusta más. I love this one more. I love the pepperoni. It's very crispy. The sausage. It's a little bit spicy, too. I love this. And it's bready. I love that, too. This, this is like a 9.5 out of 10. This, let's try the crust here. Crunchy. I love the char in the crust. All right, let's move on to dessert. We ordered the tiramisu, mascarpone cream, espresso coffee, lady fingers, and chocolate. This was recommended as the most popular dessert here. All right, let's try this out. 
Very nice espresso flavor. Very light, very sweet, very creamy. The mascarpone cream. I love the mascarpone cream in there though. I'm gonna give this 8.5 out of 10. Definitely try it. You can't go wrong with anything we ordered here. We had a great time. But it's time to hit up the next spot. We're not done with this pizza tour. Universal Studios Orlando has a New York area which sells what they're calling a New York Slice at Louis. I have to say it's very far from a New York Slice. I wish they would change the recipe because it gives New York pizza a bad name. They actually sell this exact same pizza throughout their theme parks. It's $15 a slice and way worse than a $2 Costco cheese slice. Negative 10 out of 10. The random street performances, however, 10 out of 10. All right, guys, let's talk about NYPD Pizza. They got a bunch of spots down here in Orlando. It's all right. It's probably like a 6 out of 10, I would give it. Um, I just felt like the cheese is more part skim than whole milk mozzarella. If you want to do an experiment yourself, go to the supermarket, buy whole milk mozzarella and part skim mozzarella and taste each. You'll taste the difference. All right, we're here. We're filming late. It's late. It's actually like, uh, what time is it? <laughs> I don't it's even know. Seven. It's 7 o'clock. But 7 o'clock in Orlando is like 11 p.m. in any other major city because everything closes at like 8 or 9. You won't really find much food besides fast food. But we got another spot here, Antonella's. I want to talk about this spot here. I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10 for the plain cheese slice. It is good, but it was half floppy and half crispy. So that's the reason why. Their white slice is probably like a 7 out of 10, but their best slice that you need to try here is the grandma slice. That one's an 8.5 out of 10. You got to visit for that one. It's amazing. It is just like the ones back in New York. Lazy Moon Pizza. If you're looking for giant pizza slices and beer, this place has you covered. But make sure to order it well done because it's always super floppy and it comes out just right. If I think it's well done, lightly, lightly crispy, something like that on the menu. It's like the lightest well done that they can do. That's the one you want. All right, we're here behind us, John and John. A lot of people keep saying that this is some of the best New York style pizza in Orlando. It's a brand new pizza shop. It's time to give them their fair shot. Let's go. I'm excited to try this out. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this tastes like uh, roses from Huntington. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, 100%. This is New York style. This is probably the closest to New York style that I've had here. This reminds me of Roses from Huntington on Long Island. It reminds me of that. This, I'm going to give this 8.5 out of 10. This is amazing. Really good stuff. You got to stop by and try this. Amazing. This is going to be one of my go-to spots for New York slices now down here. I need another bite, too. All right, another slice I love is the white slice. So they have one here. I haven't had a white slice in a long time. Actually, I had. I had one at Pizza Slut. Never mind, I'm a liar. I had a white slice, but not a New York style white slice. So I'm expecting a little bit of a garlic flavor with that ricotta. Let's see how good this is. That white slice is amazing. Super garlicky, very creamy. Love the ricotta in there and nice and crunchy. I just ordered it just the way it comes out, but usually down here, I have to tell them all the time, let me have it a little well done. So I had it crispy. I don't know why down here, they like floppy pizza. 